Hello there, welcome to another episode of World of Tanks and Ungainy Titan. The last couple of competition um, operations where you can win tanks or gain tanks, I was never able to really complete uh, because real life uh, just kept interfering and limiting my access and time to play World of Tanks. But I did manage to complete and get the uh, Honor T28 with F30. Which is a premium version of the Russian T28 medium tank. Now, it's a long time since I played the T28 medium tank and it was pretty crap at the time. But I remember enjoying uh, the T28 medium tank. I remember being very fast and having a very good gun at any rate. Um, I didn't think the armor was up to much. Uh, at least I kept driving into situations where I just got wiped out with it. But when you had a good game, you had a really good game because the gun was um, was accurate, it was fast firing, it was high penetration and effective at uh, long ranges. So as I said, I managed to complete the operation, collect this tank in it in my inventory, and I've just had this one game in it. Uh, I don't see myself coming back to it for a while uh, unless I'm doing something different. Uh, I was playing some platoon games there with my nephew over the weekend, and I'm going to show some of those as well. So I was just playing. Uh, different things out of the garage that suited what he had rather than you know what I was currently grinding. Uh, based on this game, it's an excellent little tank and a probably a very good crew trainer. It certainly has a good gun, as you can see there. It's now it's fully equipped. This thing, this tank is fully equipped. But I don't have. Uh, I think I have the crew that came with it. So we're going to finish off the looks and um, the armor seems to hold up reasonably well as well. So overall I think this is uh, a good uh, fun tank. I've also completed the War Stories uh, Flashpoint Berlin entry uh, over the weekend and as part of that I got an offer for uh, discounted Matilda. Uh, now I'm a big Matilda fan, uh, 600 games in the tick of Matilda. And I thought, you know, the Defiant Matilda, okay, price seemed to be reasonable, there was a few extra bits, some premium time, boosters and stuff like that, and I thought, yeah, seems to be a reasonable price. And I'd get it, but um, I really regret the decision, however, I'm going to discuss that in more depth um, in a separate video. So, back to the game. As you can see, we're in a typically chaotic uh, tier 4 type game. Um, the cap circle there was under threat, which is why I came back this way. And I've taken a massive hit twice in the back of the tank. One of them from uh, a fellow uh, T28 Honor, or Honor T28. I was able to shoot over the top of that wreck there that the Stuart was using for protection, so, um, and he wasn't, so that was to my advantage. There's still a few tanks threatening the cap circle, and I was going to go up here, but I saw this guy, and I said, you better be careful. Uh, a lot of these Japanese tanks are out again, now that the Japanese on track is uh, available, and generally while they have very little armor, they have, in my experience, tend to have pretty good guns, or hard-hitting guns, and I just, I'm just i a one-shot from pretty much anything, so I didn't want to get hit. I was very fortunate that the B1 didn't penetrate the rear of the tank as well. Uh, Guns in the French low tier French tanks aren't great, especially the heavy tanks. But uh, they do do they do a lot of damage if they penetrate, and it wouldn't have taken much to take me out at this point with 41 hit points left. However, now we have five kills. Um, it's a question of whether I can catch up with anybody to get another kill. The nearest target has just evaporated, and the uh, remaining on our T28s quite a bit away. And we're being capped as well, or there he's being capped, um, so therefore he's probably going to have to head back to the cap circle in order to reset the cap if he can shake off the pursuit from our medium tank that's uh, following up on him. We've just lost contact, but he's up there. Oh yeah, he's crossing the open ground now. Um, But he's not going to make it, or at least he should have. Uh, he's taken fire from the medium tank. He's taking another hit. I don't know what that medium tank is, but he's doing quite a bit of damage and a very rapid firing gun, and he's gotten rid of him. So, uh, don't get the opportunity for a top gun. But uh, yeah, I had a good result. 
and it is an enjoyable tank. Looks like it's earning a decent amount of silver. A uh, thousand damage is good damage for a tier 4 tank. And it gets us a high caliber. And we became, uh, also got us a second class mastery. And it bounced 120 uh, points, which is uh, decent like for a tank that's nearly half its armor. In fact, I bounced half the shots I received. Came first by experience as well. So overall, a good result, and I'm happy with it. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please consider giving it a like if you did, and the channel a subscription, and I'll catch you all again soon.